Good morning, everybody. It is Monday, December 14th, and here are your national days. It is Monkey Day. So this is the day when we uh, honor all things monkey, whether it be, uh, you know, those wonderful cartoon ones or if we're going to go actually get out there and see some in real life, um, you know, uh, see what you can do. Uh, if you can't get out and see them in person, there's lots of videos of them uh, doing funny and weird, strange things. So, you know, watch it up and see what you can do. I know a lot of zoos have some live feeds right now, so see what's out there. Uh, it's Alabama Day, so anybody from Alabama, go for it. Um, and, uh, you know, those of you who want to get to Alabama, check it out. And maybe, maybe at some point we can all feel free to get out there and go visit Alabama. Uh, it is Roasted Chestnuts Day. Now, this is something I totally associate with um, this time of year, but I, I more associate it with walking around New York City. Uh, this time of year and you get all the street carts and you, you smell the chestnuts and and uh, first time I ever had them was was actually there uh, and uh, definitely a, a something that you, you need to try at least once uh, some people really like them some people really don't so uh, you know acquired taste see what you can do uh, but try them out and last but not least it's bouillabaisse base day now this is a, a just a fun word first off just to say bouillabaisse. base um, and what it what it is is it's a fish stew um, and or it's like a, a stew soup kind of kind of a, a hybrid here, and um, it's usually made with a fish that's that's like super bony, um, so that when you're eating it, sometimes you get you get some of the bones in there with it, but it's got a lot of flavor to it, um, <clears throat> and uh, it's it's usually like it's it's the the uh, use the fish that don't sell uh, typically at markets. So it's it's a lot of those more bony ones. So you're gonna get a lot of that, um, <clears throat> a lot of those bones in there potentially uh, as you're as you're eating. So just you know something to think about, but really really tasty. Uh, all right, so those are all your days, and let's look at our um, our uh, fact of the day. So the gap between conversation responses is typically 200 milliseconds. All right. That's what uh, that's an average, of course, um, and it's nearly universal. Most languages, including sign language, the pause between when we speak and when the person we're talking to takes a uh, keeps up with is at a familiar pattern. Uh, Stephen Levinson from uh, the Max Planck Institute for Psycholinguistics. I don't even know what that means, um, told The Atlantic that the gap is the minimum human response time to anything, including when runners react to a starting pistol. So um, so again, that was uh, 200 milliseconds. So there you go. That's a pretty cool fact. I had no idea. I might be more aware of it now, but uh, might also then stretch it out a little bit more too. Who knows? Uh, so that's our fact, everybody. And uh, hopefully you have a great day and we'll see you right back here tomorrow. Have a good one, everybody.